Hi, this is Meghnad. Welcome back. So this is module 15 of C programming tutorials. In this module, we will learn jump statements. Especially, we are going to learn about where to use a break statement. So in C language, let me open Notepad. In C programming language, we have four jump statements. I'll explain what are these jump statements and why they are called so. And the first one is break and go to and continue and then we have written. So these four are called as jump statements in C language and now let me yeah. So in this module we will learn where to use break statement and why uh, that is considered as a jump statement. Right. So let's take for example you have around five lines of code and or some lines of code you have and which is actually iterating. So you're you're writing this code in a for loop and based on some condition you want to stop the for loop then you can use break. So we'll see that example now and uh, for explaining this let's take uh, let's write a simple for loop. Let's go to this uh, code blocks and new empty file and what I'll do now is I'll write some code include stdio.h include conivo.h void main and now I'll just write like uh, int i I'll give a simple illustration of break statement for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus and I'll write here printf hello. Now, now this I'll just save it because you're seeing this is not highlighted. The reason is I have not saved it. So this is module 15. So let's go back. Yeah, this is module 15. So what I'll do is I'll save this in this folder. My programs 15. Dot a break example one. Now the moment I save it you can see here code blocks is highlighting the header files and main method in blue color all the keywords you can see it's getting highlighted and okay. Now when I, when I execute this code all of you know it um, so the for loop will iterate five times from one to five and it will print hello. So let me give slash n so that we will see in the next line. So first save it and build it and there are no errors and waiting for the compilation error so no errors and warnings let's run the code. So you can see here it's printing hello five times. Now what I'll do is I'll just write here if so I'll write here if i is equal to f i is equal to 3 I'm just writing here break. Now what happens in this case is first time i value will start with 1 it'll print hello condition not satisfied so it'll come here i value becomes 2 prints hello i value becomes uh, 3 prints hello and the condition satisfies and break. So that's it. The loop will not continue again. So the moment break is encountered in a for loop, the loop will stop and it will go off after the loop. So the output for this code is the output for this code is three times hello. And it will print third time hello and after that the condition is there, it will break. So now let's save it and build it. And now I can run the code. You can see it's printing three times hello. Now what happens if this condition is about this? Now if the condition is here, now it will print two times hello because first time i value is one, it's checking for the condition, no, prints hello, second time it will check for the condition, i value is two now, no, not condition not satisfied, it prints hello, third time i value is three, break, so it will not even reach here. So in this case the output will be two times hello, now let's save it and build it and let's run the code. Now you can see it's printing two times hello. Now what do we understand from this is break is used to normally used in loops which is used to come outside a loop. Now in case if you have a nested for loop a where a for loop inside another for loop break will stop the innermost for loop or the loop in which the break is present. Now let's try to understand that. Let's see this now. Now we'll understand what happens if you use break inside a nested for loop. 
so I'm I'll be using J here for int i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus and now what I'll do is I'll write here for for int j is equal to um, j is equal to 6 and j less than or equal to 9 j plus plus and I'll write here printf percentile d percentile d comma I comma j so in this case let's see um, let's try to analyze what will be the output I'll, I'll just give slash n here now if I'm using a nested for loop first i value is 1 j value will loop from 6 to 9 so in this case 1 6 here it'll print 1 i value is 1 j value will loop through right so 1 6 1 7 1 8 1 9 and i value becomes 2 2 6 2 7 2 8 2 9 i value becomes 3 3 6 3 7 so for every i value this loop will iterate 6 7 8 9 4 times so now the total output will be 5 into 4 20 lines will be there from 1 6 now let's see the output let's save it and run the code now I'm still getting the output of the previous execution so what I have to do now is I need to build it so build it the moment you build it the exe file will be regenerated and then you'll get the latest output so you can see here you're seeing the output as 1 6 so this is for i value 1 this for i value 2 this for i value 3 i value 4 i value 4 and i value 5 so for every i value inner loop is executing um, so many number of times now what i'll do is i'll just write here i'll just write here if j is equal to 8 if j is equal to 8 i'm writing here break now in this case this break will actually stop the inner for loop when it reaches when j value reaches 8 now let's try to analyze the output i value is 1 j value 6 no break j value 7 no break it'll print here when j value becomes 8 condition satisfied it'll break so that will only stop this loop and it'll again go here i value becomes 2 2 6 2 7 break 3 6 3 7 break 4 6 4 7 break 5 6 5 7 break so this will print the numbers 5 1 6 1 7 2 6 2 7 3 6 3 7 4 6 4 7 and 5 6 5 7 so what did we learn from this is if you have break statement inside a nested for loop an inner for loop the break will only stop the inner for loop the outer for loop will still continue right so now let's save it and let's try to build this and let's run the code now you can see here that the output is as we expected 1617 and 5657 now you might be thinking where do we use these break in real world programming so why do we need this break why do we want to skip it so let's try to understand this let's take for example we have a requirement like this now as usual um, I used to guide so what we will do is let's add a comment here let's try to add a comment and we used to write author and purpose so author I'm writing my name and purpose so print first number divisible by 117 after 1000 let's take I have a requirement very strange a different requirement like this so I want to print the first number that's divisible by 117 after 1000 so so what we have to do in this case is I have to write a loop I have to write a loop starting from 1000 and the moment the number is divisible by 117 I have to stop and how many numbers are up to the for loop should check up to see for every 117 numbers there will be a number that's divisible by 117 so what I have to do in this case is I'll write this see here for and I don't need this J now let me remove this and and see here now for I is equal to thousand I less than or equal to thousand one one seven I plus plus now what I need is I just want to print the first number that's divisible by one one seven 
after thousand so so what I'll do is the moment I find the number I don't have to continue with the loop so if I modulo 117 equal to 0 and what I'll do now I'll print the number so print F percent D comma I now what I'll do is and I'll just put break so I don't have once I find the number that's divisible by 117 I don't have to loop again I don't have to loop again I need to stop it because my goal is just to find the first number divisible by 117 after 117 so now I'll write here I'll write here get CH or I don't really need it so now let's try to understand now if you are using any other editor you might need to write get CH okay that's fine so now let's save it and build it you can see no errors no warnings let's run the code so you can see here 1053 is the number that's divisible by 117 after 1000 so that's where you might need to use a break statement so once you once your uh, requirement is met so and you don't have to, you don't want to meet uh, loop the for loop you can break the for loop so break is used to skip or come out of the for loop or while loop or do while loop or in any loops you can normally we use break okay so i hope you are clear with uh, when and where to use break statement in this lecture so in the next in the next lecture we will learn about um, uh, continue where to use continue now as usual i'll save it and go to github and i'll upload this file so that you can download it so go to um, my C programs and you can see here break example and it's uploading and let me click on commit changes and looks like there is some problem mm, that's okay so I hope you're very clear with um, I'll, I'll resolve this you're very clear with uh, using a break statement thank you and see you in the next lecture